From Tampa Bay Streaming News Source, brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com, this is ABC Action News. Well, expect another hot day as you head out the door. Your weather forecast with Greg Dees coming right up. Good morning, I'm James Tully. Here are your ABC Action News headlines. A tragic ending to a SWAT standoff in Orlando. Four young kids are dead and the suspect took his own life. Gary Lindsay Jr. barricaded himself in an apartment on Sunday. The standoff started after he fired at officers through the front door, shooting one of them in the eye. Lindsay, the father of two of the children killed, the other two belonged to his girlfriend. Lindsay had previous arrests for domestic violence and arson. The highly anticipated summit between President Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong Un ended with a signing of a document. President Trump committed to provide security guarantees to North Korea, while Kim pledged the complete denuclearization of the North Korean peninsula. Both leaders agreed to hold follow up negotiations. Today marks two years since the Pulse nightclub massacre in Orlando. Governor Rick Scott has proclaimed today Pulse Remembrance Day for the 49 people killed. Scott is asking all Florida residents to pause for a moment of silence at 9 a.m. Crews are closing the reversible express lanes on the Selman Expressway all this week. Expect those upper lanes shut down from 10 a.m. until 3 p.m. until Friday. The Expressway Authority planned the closure so they can continue testing pilot programs. Also happening today, dozens of job openings are up for grabs in Tampa. The Tampa Bay Job Fair is happening at the Holiday Inn West Shore from 10 until 2. Jobs include entry-level positions to top managerial positions. You want to show up with several copies of your resume and, of course, dress to impress. Now, over to the master of the pocket square himself. It is Greg D with a look at your forecast. I'd recommend a pocket square when going to that job fair. Good morning, everybody. As we start off our day today, temperatures in the 70s. A couple showers along the coast early. That's why we've got those 10% rain chances at 7 o'clock. Then we take a break and fire up more storms in the afternoon. Coverage today, just like yesterday, 20 to 30%. Now, the storms may pop up in different locations. So if you missed out on the rain yesterday, uh, you may see that downpour this afternoon. Best way to stay on top of those storms by downloading the Storm Shield app. It's in your app store right now, James. All right, Greg, thank you. You can get all of your news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And don't forget to download the free ABC Action News app. Have a great day. Don't they know they're supposed to use the crosswalk? Hey, you on your phone, put that down until you cross the street. Whoa, stop! Can't you see there are pedestrians crossing here? Ugh, I can't take it anymore. Drivers, put your phone down. Be alert. Watch for pedestrians, especially when approaching a crosswalk. Pedestrians, always use the crosswalk and push the button so I can help you cross safely. Alert today, alive tomorrow, because safety doesn't happen by accident.